Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we are tackling legal question 204 titled Count Primes. Basically our task for today is to figure out how many prime numbers are there between uh, the range of 0 all the way to this n parameter here. So this n kind of like serves as the upper bound. And we're supposed to find out how many prime numbers are between 0 all the way to this number here, right? Uh, so just to recap for those who are not familiar with the definition of prime numbers, prime numbers are basically the number that has only two factors, which is the number one and uh, of itself, right? The number of itself. So for example, two is a prime number because it has only two factors, which is a factor of one and a, a number of itself, which is two, right? So three is also a prime number because the only factor of 3 is 1 and 3. So there's only two factors, which is number 1 and the number of itself, which is 3. Uh, 4 is not a prime number because it has a factor of 1, 2, and also 4. Right? So this is not a prime number. Uh, so let's take another example, maybe like 11. Right? Is 11 a prime number? So 11 is a prime number because it has only two factors, right? which is 1 and 11. So another example is like 12. Is 12 a prime number? It is not a prime number because it has more than two factors, right? So it has a factor of 1, 12, 2, 6, uh, 3, and 4, right? So 12 is not a prime number. So yeah, I think that there's a lot of resource out there that explains like what is a prime number in case I did not do a good job. I apologize for that. Uh, feel free to check it out because uh, you guys got to know what's the meaning of uh, prime numbers to solve this question. Uh, but hopefully this one just gives you a quick uh, summary to kind of remind you what is prime numbers for those who are not familiar with prime numbers. So, uh, yeah, so essentially we're supposed to figure out how many prime numbers are there between the range of uh, 0 all the way to this end here. And how we're going to do that, the strategy that we're going to do that is we definitely need to know uh, we definitely need uh, a holder, right, to store all the information of the status of the number, whether it is a prime or not a prime, right? So definitely we can use something like a, an array of boolean, and we're going to make them all uh, essentially fill it up, fill that array with uh, a true, all the entire list uh, of the, the entire array is basically all true, representing that. We are assuming that all the numbers in that array is uh, a prime number, right? And then what we're going to go and check is we're going to loop through from uh, the starting range all the way to n, and then and then we're going to check if it is really a prime number. If it's not, we're going to update the array and just flip the value from true to false. And then what we're going to do at the end, once all the arrays has been updated, we're going to look through again and figure out like how many remaining um, uh, true prime numbers are there inside the array and then we're just going to uh, count that value and then return and that should give us the answer so I know there's uh, quite a bit of mouthful and I don't really have a visual uh, aid here but I'm just going to jump straight into the code and think it's pretty uh, easy to follow so let me just jump straight into the code and let's get started so <clears throat> the first thing that we have to understand that the, the first prime number is basically the number 2. Right? 2 is the first uh, prime number. So if the value n here is anything less than 2, uh, then we know essentially that uh, there are no prime numbers. right? So 1 and 0 is not a prime number. Uh, 2 is the first one. So what we can do is check the like n is greater than equals to 2. If it's not, then basically we can just return 0. And like I said, the strategy that we're going to use here is an array to store the status of the number, whether it is a prime number or not. So let's just going to create, I'm going to call it uh, the array as primes and fill it up with true, right? And then we're going to flip this later to which number is false. So count is n, right? So we're good. just creating an array here and fill up the entire array with true. And then uh, we need to create another variable counter here, which will be our answer, 
representing the number of prime numbers that exist inside this array once we update it right so how we're going to check this is we have to look through um, we're going to look through from i to 2 because 2 is the starting prime number all the way to less than n right uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to check right if prime of i this current value is prime number and then what we're going to do here is we're going to update every multiplication uh, of it to be false right so var is j is uh, equals to i and then what we're going to do here is val j times i this is the multiplication of this current value is less than n what we're going to do then is primes of j times i equals to false and obviously we need to exit out from this while loop so what we're going to do here is increment j plus one right so essentially just imagine the number is two and then the next number is four right so four is not a prime number because it has more than two factors right so it has a factor of one two and four essentially right and then we uh, increase it again so say like two times uh four for example right eight it is also not a factor and it's a multiplication of two so basically it has a factor of one two and four and eight right so this is also not a prime number so basically any multiplication of it uh, will not be a prime number so that's why we are basically just uh, time multiplying the value to get the multiple uh, applied value of it and update it to false so that's what we are doing in this uh, operation here because any mathematically speaking any multiplication of that number is not going to be a prime right so like I showed you 4 is not going to be a prime number 6 is also not going to be a prime number because it's more than uh, two factors so once this is updated we update the array here to flip it to false for all the multiplicate uh, application value uh, what we're going to do here is now uh, we should be able to find out how many uh, of the prime number within this range is still true and that's what we're going to do here so for i in 2 all the way to n right and then we're just going to check if it's still true then we're just going to increment outcome and essentially that is it i think that's all we have to do let me just run this code and hopefully we got that right looks correct let me just test with more test code here there we have it it's also accepted let me just try and submit this to confirm there we go that's the answer here so yeah uh, that's the solution for this question just to recap uh, what we're doing is uh, we're just creating an array and fill it up with true and then we're going to look through between the range of two because two is the first prime number all the way to n which is the upper bound range and then what we're uh, doing here is basically any multiplication of that number we're just going to set it to false once that prime number uh, primes uh, array has been updated uh, we will just look through again and just check for which number is still uh, remaining as true and that's basically how many prime numbers are in that range so hopefully that's clear enough in this uh, code here and hopefully you find this video helpful please feel free to like share and subscribe it definitely helps my channel to grow and i'll be putting more of this video uh, every week so please help to spread the word i appreciate your time take care and bye bye